Hey everyone, how are you? This is Apple and iOS Genius on the YouTube channel. Today we're just going to go over a quick view of how does the new Apple Service Diagnostic Toolkit 2.0 works via the cloud. So basically when you become certified through ACMT, ACIT, ACSP, uh, and a few other certifications out there, uh, what can be done is that uh, you'll have access to GSX. And if you work for a company, you can be able to actually run diagnostic tools from your GSX account. Now, there's uh, two different ASTs. There's an AST 1.5, which actually just had an update recently of 1.8. And then there is another one, AST 2, 2.0 basically. And the 2.0 version is what the Apple Store representatives can do uh, in basically checking your iOS devices. Uh, and then uh, they can send a signal to it as well as they can do it to your Mac. But since you're right there, Ethernet is much more better than doing it through the, through the cloud because sometimes, sometimes there are error messages that do pop up that it could not connect or could not create a ticket or whatever the case may be. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've already logged into my GSX account, which is right here. Uh, and then basically in the top center, you may see that when you visit an Apple store, they do enter in the, the serial number for you. They would like to make sure it's valid and whatever the case may be. So I am going to go do this on my, doing this, testing this on my daughter's iPad. I've already done it on my iPhone and it works out and it has every record that was, uh, remembered, uh, and performed. So whenever you call Apple, they can also just look you up and say, oh, that serial number had 10 cases, 15 cases, etc." And it would be the same thing. Let's make sure this is all right. Let's copy it just in case. And we're going to go ahead and hit enter. And on the top left corner should appear the iPad. There it is. So my daughter has an iPad Pro 12.9 inch Wi-Fi plus with built-in LTE. This pop-up repair notification tells Apple to say, hey, wait a second, before we do any repairs, we need to have them turn off the Find My iPhone to be turned off. And of course, you may run into that issue and then when you're in the store, when they ask you, can you please turn off your Find My iPhone? Because that's the only way they can do physical repair to the device. If they cannot do anything to the device or repair, or if it keeps failing in a test, then they'll automatically go ahead and replace it for you if it's under warranty, or if you have Apple Care warranty as well, or if you pay uh, additional on the side just to get it replaced. Um, so basically, uh, let's continue and go forward. So once I hit continue, you can say check for new diagnostics or uh, to check new diagnostics to run on the iPhone 4. So you can run this diagnostics, but I found out that if you run it through this status bar, it doesn't really do anything. It looks for something, then it bounces back and say, eh, there's nothing really there. Um, so what I do is right here in the top center, I select on request diagnostics. So basically it's gonna pop up with a, a window and there it is, send a diagnostic request. You can do the AST2 diagnostic on iPhones, I noticed up here at the very top between the send diagnostic request and the AS2 diagnostic, uh, it normally comes up, uh, please enter the person's email or if the person doesn't have an SMS available or uh, email available, you know, maybe you just have a Wi-Fi model or maybe you don't have a SIM card in your phone and you wanted to have it tested out before you bring it into your carrier. So we're going to go and select on AS2 diagnostic. And then basically what it does, it just bounces you right back to the main screen. It's like, well, it didn't really do anything. Uh, so then I'm going to show you this as well, check for a diagnostic. And as you do that, again, it doesn't look like it's doing anything different. So what we're going to do is go ahead and airplay my iPhone. And we're going to do this on my iPhone. So, so like I'm, as I was stating, the request diagnostic does not always works. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't because it's through the cloud. So let, let me hit this again. You see there's no text information here. So if I go ahead and do AirPlay on my, let's do this. Bear with me for a moment. Okay. There we go. My iPhone should appear in a moment. There it is. So this is my iPhone. And I purchased this software called Reflector uh, too. It's very good, does AirPlay 
does it right away, that's cool. This is just an accessibility that I use uh, since I can't do screenshots quite often on my screen. So we're going to go here <clears throat> and I am going to go back to GSX. I'm going to refresh this page so I can start from scratch again. I have my serial number already placed down somewhere. There it is. That's iPhone. Copy this. Close that. Do a search. Hit enter. And it should pull up my phone. This is 64 gig. Here it is, a 64 gig. Back again with a repair notification that Find My iPhone is enabled, uh, which is really cool and it helps them out. So you hit continue. So this is my phone. Here's diagnostics. Check for diagnostics. Here, I just recently ran this, which is a mobile resource inspector. Uh, so basically there's, a, uh, there's also the Apple service diagnostic tool it also has an option for uh, an inspector where it basically checks every piece and part and product of your phone device. So I just want to basically show you how this works. So I'm going to go ahead and select request diagnostic. Even though I've already done it just a few minutes ago, it's 11.25 p.m. and it's 11.43 right now. So we're going to go ahead and select request. Do you see how this it pops up? Enter an email address to send a diagnostic to this device. So <clears throat> as I'm fixing uh, individuals I iOS devices I can send them an email or just do it manually sending them an email can just go to their Apple ID email if there is but if there's no SMS uh, or email available on this phone like if it was a we'll just say a restored phone and they just use it for music okay but it's an iPhone but they just use it for music like an iPod basically uh, so you can do a manual and then a manual you can select here request ticket once you select this, it will generate a URL. There is the URL. Now, on my iPhone, let me open up Safari here. Go into the URL here. You just basically, this is what the Apple representative in the store would do. But since I am certified as well, I can go ahead and do this. Put this in and, you know, help out other individuals that are having issues with their phone devices, as I do. Go ahead, go. It says, hey, do you want to open this diagnostic? Yes, go ahead. And this is basically, you may have seen this on your side. The Apple re representative will tell you, well, this is what it's going to do, et cetera, et cetera, collect diagnostic. So you'll hit continue. You're sure. You hit agree. And there you go. Now it's going to show mobile um, <clears throat> resource inspector will pop up. There you go. Mobile resource uh, running the resource inspector. You, there's nothing that you see here on your phone. Everything is collected and sent to Apple, and Apple will, on Apple's end, they will see what's passed, what didn't pass, and et cetera, et cetera, all the really in uh, detail, detail of the what is done on your phone. Um, so we're going to hit done here on the left-hand side. And then now we're just going to wait. So this one right here is the one that we just ran. So all tests are completed as shows. We're going to go ahead. You don't have to hit done. You don't have to hit history. It's completed. You can actually press the home button. History does only shows you when the last report was done. Was it 1144? You can't touch this. It does not open anything. Uh, you can hit done and then done, and it just takes you back to your home page. So it's the same thing if you just double clicking your home page and going back. But as you see in Safari, that link or software is not there anymore. So uh, now that we're back on the left side here, in the left side here, the diagnostic has been requested. Uh, now we would just want to wait uh, a minute or two here, and or a few seconds really. And then what's going to happen is we're just going to go and select GSX. Let's see, it's 43, it's 45. Let's wait another few more seconds because sometimes I touch check for diagnostics and nothing appears. You know, it just gives me an error that I couldn't pull up the information. All right, it's 11:46 now, so let me go ahead and check for diagnostics. Okay, now this is what it pops up. So here's my customer report, diagnostic details. I can click these two, which I've done down here, and nothing actually appeared. So I'm thinking because my certifications have not transferred over to the new GSX tech ID that I have uh, with Apple, uh, probably not providing me this information. But it's great information to know. So we're going to go ahead and here, we're at the top one here. We're going to select show diagnostics. We're going to select show more. And this is basically, it goes through everything on your phone. To check, it checks the uh, module for services, checks for diagnostics, sensors, gyro, uh, 
hub base, barometer, ALS, Bluetooth. I mean, like it checks every little, even Apple Pay, it checks it to, you know, it, you may not have an Apple Pay registered to your device. You may have one registered. Uh, and then, but it still shows it because it tests with an Apple, like uh, through Apple, like a, a fake card or so forth, just to make sure it works of that physical sensor. So when you push the button, it pushes down for the uh, Apple Pay to pull up. So let's see if I can do that. Oops, wrong one. Three. Yeah. Well, it basically just tests it out. So you have an accelerometer, touch ID, Wi-Fi, you see everything. Now, I do see in, um, uh, at Apple, they had an option where you can click it, and then it shows you much more granular details. So what I'm going to do is, uh, and this could be maybe just because my certifications have not transferred over to the new Apple ID, uh, but we're going to select on the previous one here at 1125, and let's see if this shows up anything. Customer report. You click it, yeah, you see nothing pops up. And really, something should pop up. Gives you a hyperlink. Let's see if we can open a new tab. There's a new tab, and it gives me this error. Has encountered an exception. So that's what I'm saying. Maybe my GSX account is not fully functional, and some things are still blocked or still updating. But, like, say for an example, if there was something wrong with your iPhone here specifically, uh, and then say something didn't pass. So like if I scroll all the way down here, I went to Apple back in November 29, 2016 at 529, and here it basically passed the software, the system, the battery, but uh, it had a warning message for the analyst, and it gave, gave a warning. Now, at this present time, at that time, on November 29th, there was an issue with my phone, but I noticed on the... Apple representative that was doing a scan on my phone, he only did specifically battery tests. So it was like a, a specific troubleshoot. Like here it says, begin troubleshooting based on diagnostics. You can do it off that, or you can say, no, I'll troubleshoot another issue. And it'll go through a step-by-step -step process. So I'm gonna just select battery usually here, the diagnostic details. I have not clicked this yet, so let's see if that happens to pull up anything. And no. Nothing pulls up. Let me open this new window. It's the same thing. So it could very well be because my credentials have not been transferred over and I do not uh, have access to that information. Um, so basically, this is basically how to run uh, requested diagnostics on your iPhone or iOS device via uh, a URL link that Apple provides. Well, again, this can only be done by someone who has access to GSX. Uh, again, Maybe a T-Mobile store or Verizon store may have access to do GSX. Sometimes they don't, and they'll just call Apple and then go from there. Uh, just because this is requires certification to gain access to it, um, and it's based on each individual who has access or act, has a certification with Apple that they can log into this site.